17 hours ago, we've got some exciting leaks about Natlan. So today, we'll be discussing them for upcoming Natlan characters, which include Shabalanke, Varka, and reruns. We also have talks about Mavuika and Columbina becoming playable early. The 5.1 main event and remarkable quality of life changes. This video will be eye-opening, so make sure to watch until the end. By the way, I'm announcing 5 giveaway winners upon reaching 21 k and another 5 at 22k so make sure you stay tuned and you're subscribed moving on to the video so starting with mavuika she's a five star pyro former archon who wields a claymore interestingly unlike all the previous archon she won't be a support or sub dps she will be a dps at c0 although the utility would be low but as you unlock more of her constellations she will become more powerful and start to also take Take up on support role now interestingly from the information and scoop it seems that we might be able to play her even before her official release yeah interesting isn't it now before you do omg and what the f let me tell you how this might happen so according to mero we may be able to play as mavuika in the next archon quest in 5.1 but he's unsure that we'll be able to use her skills or it will be just a flashback or recalling something from her past story because keep in mind that Mavuika's release is planned for version 5.3 which will be somewhere around January 1st so it's more likely that we'll be able to play her without using any skills so although you may be excited but don't expect too much and don't feel down either because many new people are coming in 5.1 which we'll talk further but before that just a short bit about RD updates so we may get an option to auto add 5 star artifacts to enhance the other ones so you know a nice QL improvement indeed now moving on to leaks of Columbina there's still a tussle between Capitano fans and Columbina fans and both are fighting among who's getting playable well I've said it many times previously the chances of Capitano becoming playable are slim because there's more kit info about Columbina than just story things about Capitano so I would say a 95% chance of Columbina Columbina becoming playable. Time will come for Capitano, but it's not going to be soon. Because keep in mind that he's the first Fatui Harbinger. Gotta save the best for last, am I right? And now on to final and most important part of the video, the main theme event of 5.1 and characters. So, according to Genshin Intel and other sources, it's predicted that the main theme for 5.1 may be surrounding Sabe's Ruse Festival. Don't worry, it's present since the manga release, you can even search it on Google. It's connected to Sumru and its traditions. And do keep in mind that we have Natlan going on. Now moving on from this time, we have to understand that Hoyovers will run multiple festivals in same regions at the same time so three things are predicted to happen here number one since it's a sumru festival we're expected to see nahira as well as varka yes according to lore varka loves to visit during sabezru's festival and loves to enjoy after his expeditions now number two since it's a sumru festival we're expecting nahira's rerun personally it's the best time and opportunity to release nahira's rerun and number three for shabalanke fans Tons of miners and sources are indicating that we may get to see Shabalanke in 5.1 and they mentioned he might have some sort of form which makes me question that will we see his physical appearance or the ghost-like appearance we saw in the quest. Well, I hope it's a physical form, I'd love to see Shabalanke and make him playable as soon as possible. So that's it for today's video, do comment which character you want in future. Thanks for watching, see you all in the next video, until then stay safe and stay Picky.